most street railway companies had a uh, stove with a sort of a casing around it that they pour sand into and let it dry and come out the bottom and they uh, store it in the car house so they, they come out once a day and they fill this up. Very important part. We don't use them much here at the Trolley Museum because they get emptied um, accidentally and, and uh, we just haven't uh, found them useful though we're trying to restore such things on our cars because they were a part of the operation. So there'll be, a, as I say, there's a wooden box that goes over this. And there are two triangular pieces that support this thing. I, I saw a couple of loose ones lying around. I didn't know what they were, and then it makes perfect sense to hold, to hold this thing up. Now, there's various bits of hardware on here. Uh, again, this end is more or less complete. You've got the uh, uncoupling device. I'm sure there's a better name for it. Uh, with a sort of a hinge arrangement here and another one here. You've got the handrail here and another one here. Um, and that's about all there is to the end of the car. Uh, as I tell you, we have this brace here. Um, yeah, that's about all there is to this end of the car. Um, what you see in front of you now is a socket for the trolley catcher. There's a rope here, and this rope went into a sort of a reel-like thing, not too different from what you'd have fishing, but of course much larger. It went up to the trolley pole up there and basically kept the rope from just falling all over the place as it is now. Obviously we didn't use one here to get the car in here because uh, this wouldn't have held very well. Now notice how large that is. It's a board that bolts right onto the front of this uh, sill. Now over here is another one, a lot smaller. Just from the looking at the wood, the kind of wood this is, and the color of it, and the length of the board that's there, I'm pretty sure this is original. But over time, stuff gets added to uh, cars, gets subtracted to the car, uh, just for us to keep it running. Or it could have been Atlantic Shore, but I doubt it very much, or York Utilities, rather. They would have been the later people. Somebody stuck this board on, just nailed it on, obviously it fell off. And this would have been for the other end. Notice how much smaller it is. Now this car has one pole on it. And what they would do when they get to the end of the line and want to go back the other way, you always have the, the trolley behind it. Trolley comes from the word troll, which uh, as in trolling and fishing, a troller was, was the original name, and it became nicknamed trolley. And, uh, Trolley is kind of a, uh, it's a popular name for it. Anyway, uh, it always had to be behind. So when you want to go the other way, you take that pole and run it around the other end, carrying the catcher, and, and uh, put it into the socket. So you'd have to have the same thing on both ends. Now, having said that, there was one period of time uh, when they had two poles on. So they wouldn't have needed to have, well, they would have had to have two different catchers on here, so it might have been different on that end. But as the car is now, and as it came to us, there's just the one pole. So what the whole lesson is of this is, you really have to look at things and say, did this belong to this car? Was this something we added? 